Hi, I'm Ryan Samansky, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum Memorial, and today we are in San Jacinto on the battlefield looking at the battleship USS Texas. Texas has been restored in her World War II camouflage scheme. This is Measure 21 with a navy blue or dark blue painting to the hull and superstructure and deck blue on all the horizontal surfaces. This Measure 21 camouflage scheme is the same one that Battleship New Jersey first deployed to the Pacific with. It's this camouflage scheme that earned New Jersey the nickname, the Black Dragon. Now in our period of interpretation, Battleship New Jersey is being interpreted as if it is the 1990s still at the very end of her career because that's the kind of equipment she has on it. So it would not be appropriate for her to have the camouflage scheme that she wore in 1943 and 44. So it's really, really cool for us to be able to come here and see what it looks like for a battleship to be in this camouflage scheme. Modern ships wear the overall haze gray camouflage scheme, which is during World War II known as Measure 12. Measure 21, all blue, was selected because earlier camouflage schemes for fighting at night were going to be all black. However, it was found that the black reflected light a lot more than the dark blue. Plus, dark blue is way better during the daytime to obscure you from aircraft. So this is kind of the aircraft protection camouflage scheme. When New Jersey deployed to the Pacific in 43, Japan still has a number of operational carriers and the United States isn't quite sure what the capabilities of Japanese air groups are. Sure, we've shot down a lot of them, but we've also been able to train a bunch of our own. We, we hadn't quite realized yet that the Japanese were not keeping pace with their training program because of how much more intensive it was. And it wouldn't be until the Battle of the Philippine Sea where we're able to completely chew through the Japanese air groups with very little losses in what became known as the Marianas Turkey Shoot, uh, that we realized that the threat from Japanese aircraft wasn't that great. So then we go from measure 21 to measure 22, which is everything above the lowest level of the main deck is painted light gray. That is better for surface targets. So you see Battleship New Jersey late war by 1945 has that measure 22 camouflage scheme. So what's the difference between the two? With overall dark blue, if you're looking at the ship from the air, whether you're coming at the ship or are directly above it with the blue decks and the blue side, it's blending into the ocean around it. it makes it harder to spot. With the uh, dark blue overall, however, if you're viewing it from the side, you see this big blue thing sticking out above the ocean and you know there's a ship there. So good against aircraft, this scheme, not so great against ships. So by painting everything above the main deck level a lighter color, that blends into the hazy sky a lot better. So just look at how much this ship stands out on the gray clouds behind us. And imagine if the top part of the ship was all painted a lighter color that matches that gray. That was a better paint scheme for Japanese surface ships, of which the Japanese still had a very powerful surface force. And so by the end of the war, most US Navy ships are painted in that Measure 22 scheme. Now, going back to the Black Dragon, like I said, it's actually blue. Well, from a distance, it still looks like black. Like I said earlier, it, it doesn't reflect the light as well, so it's even darker. And of course, the dragon thing makes sense because she's spitting fire. New Jersey was the only one of the four Iowas to deploy with this camouflage scheme. Missouri and Iowa initially deployed with an actual splotchy uh, camouflage scheme with a couple of light and dark grays and blues thrown in there. Uh, and then they pretty rapidly repainted to the Measure 22 
uh, with everything below the lowest level of the hall, dark blue, everything above light gray. And uh, then as each of them went into the yard, they were repainted like that. Wisconsin just came out like that. And it wasn't until New Jersey's first major yard period in 1945 where she gets repainted from the dark blue to the uh, measure 22. And then that's how she looked at the end of the war. And pretty soon post-war, the entire fleet repaints to that measure 12 haze gray. Uh, and we just don't see significant camouflage deployed by the Navy from that point on. Why on earth is that? Because everybody has radar at that point. During World War II, while the Allies had pretty sophisticated radar, uh, Axis radar lagged behind, particularly the Japanese, and they did deploy radars, but it wasn't nearly so sophisticated. And not only did the Allies employ sophisticated electronics, but we also had sophisticated jamming technology that could help um, against enemy radars and that sort of stuff. So camouflage still made sense even in a radar world during World War II, but post-war when the United States is even giving the Japanese our radar sets for their maritime self-defense force, there's no point anymore. So, which paint scheme do you like better? I absolutely adore a World War II ship in their World War II camouflage schemes. I hate when the World War II ships are still in their like post-war paint schemes, unless, like Battleship New Jersey, that's the scheme they, they wore later on in their career. At the end of World War II, Texas was repainted in that light gray scheme when she was put into mothballs and wore that for a number of years here at, um, at the San Jacinto battlefield. And it wasn't until relatively recently that they repainted her in the camo scheme. So for a World War II ship, love the camo. For a post-war ship like Battleship New Jersey, I love her in the Measure 12. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Slater has a really great camouflage scheme. Um, North Carolina has done the camouflage scheme. A couple of other ships have talked about transitioning to the camouflage scheme. And I'd like to hear your thoughts on it down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State and also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. Consider throwing some of that support the way of the Battleship Texas Foundation, who are getting ready for a huge, at least $35 million dry docking project to stabilize the ship's hull and preserve her for another several decades. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to support them. You can support Battleship New Jersey by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about our channel and our museum. Thanks for watching.